Hi, I'm Shane Harris with Alabama Cooperative Extension System. And today I'm standing by a large patch, right on the edge of course, a large patch of poison ivy. I'm also standing near some poison ivy running up this tree. Poison ivy is a poisonous plant and it can be a major problem around the garden if you go camping or maybe even hiking in the woods, you may come across poison ivy this summer. Let's take a moment to talk about how to control this poisonous plant. Anyone who works outdoors or participates in outdoor activities needs to be able to identify poison ivy. The most recognizable trait of poison ivy is its three leaves. Being a compound leaf, it has three leaves with the middle leaf typically a little larger in size. The preferred habitat of poison ivy is moist deciduous forests and wooded areas but it also can be found along pastures, fence rows, and ornamental plantings around the home. You will find poison ivy climbing trees as a vine or growing along the ground as an individual small shrub or large patches and look like ground cover. A very distinctive trait of poison ivy, especially noticing in the wintertime, is the hairy-like structures along the vine as it attaches itself to a trunk of a tree. Poison ivy is often confused with another native vine called Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper has five leaflets, whereas poison ivy has only three leaflets. Virginia creeper is not poisonous, whereas poison ivy is. Do know that all parts of a poison ivy plant, its leaves, stem, fruits, and roots, all produce an oil that can cause the skin irritation in some people. So basically all parts are poisonous to the skin. To control poison ivy, often herbicides are used. Common herbicides labeled for poison ivy control include glyphosate, 2,4-D, and choclopyr. Many of these products are labeled as brush control. For non-chemical control methods, consider repeated tillage, cutting, and mowing. Poison ivy will not tolerate constant suppression and will eventually die. Enjoy the outdoors this spring and summer, but be sure to watch where you step and where you put your hands. This is an itch you want to avoid. For more information, visit us online at aces.edu or contact your local county extension office.